Hello, it's Shandy from ExpressionFiberArts.com and today we're going to learn how to make a giant crocheted roving rug. I got a ton of requests for this when I posted it, so I thought I'd show you how to do it. I used seven and a half pounds of soft merino wool roving, so you'll just want to grab some and follow along. Basically, we're just going to do a lot of single crochets. If you're familiar with crochet, you'll pretty much be able to understand what I'm doing, but I'm going to try to go slow just in case you're not familiar. So you want to make a slip knot like I just did and leave it very loose. Don't tighten that. I like to use my fingers as my crochet hook. Just reach through that loop and pull up another loop. Then reach through again and pull up another loop. So you have your initial slip knot, your next loop, and your working loop. All right, so reach through again and we're gonna do our first single crochet in that initial slip knot. So reach through with both fingers and pull up your roving, pulling it only through that slip knot. So you now have two loops on your fingers. Then reach through and pull that roving through both. And that is a single crochet. And that's basically what we're gonna do for the whole rug. All right, so reach back into that initial single crochet and pull up the roving again so you have two loops on your fingers. Grab your roving again and pull it through. And that's your second single crochet. So go ahead and work six single crochets all into that first slip knot and then I'll show you how to finish the round. Alright, go ahead and grab your tail and cinch it up gently to tighten that hole in the middle. Don't pull too hard or you'll rip your roving. All right, you'll need some kind of stitch marker or holder or a scrap piece of yarn. And we're gonna place that onto the final stitch of every round just to keep track. All right. So now you can see we have six single crochets and we're only going to be working into the back loop of them. The front loop is gonna form a spiral on your whole rug, which you'll see as you do a few rows. Okay, so let's get going again. Now, only working into the back loop, insert your fingers into the back loop of that first single crochet. And work another single crochet. So there's one. Go ahead and work another single crochet into that first stitch. So you've worked two single crochets into the first single crochet. Now repeat that in the back loop of every stitch around. So you started with six, and this round you should have 12. So two single crochets into the back loop of each single crochet from the round previous. All right, so when you finish that round, you should have 12. Just make sure you do. Go ahead and grab your stitch marker, slide that out and place it into the final single crochet that you worked on this round. You're gonna repeat that on every round just to keep track. We're basically doing a big spiral, so we don't wanna lose track. Okay, now we're gonna work two single crochets in the first one, and then one, two, and then one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. So two in the first one. And then one in the next one. Then continue that pattern all the way around and you should end up with 18 stitches on round number three. We're basically increasing six stitches every round. All right, so you have 18 stitches. Remove your stitch marker and place it on the final loop of that round. Okay, now we're gonna work two. One, one, 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 two. One, one. 
So start with two single crochets in the first single crochet. Now work one in the next one. And one in the next one. And then continue that pattern around. Two, one, two, one, two, one. So this round you should have 24. And we're just increasing six stitches every round. So just make sure your stitch count is correct and you should be good. All right, you can see the spiral forming. Okay, for the next round, you're gonna work two, one, 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 two, one, one, one. The next round after that, you'll work two, one, 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 and on and on. You're increasing six stitches each round, so the number of single stitches will get greater and greater. Okay, to finish off, you're gonna work two slip stitches, like so. If you miss that, reach through, grab your roving and pull it through both loops. Ta-da! Okay, and then just pull that up. Now here's how you hide your end. Go ahead and push that tail through the side of the next loop like so, and then poke it back down from whence it came. And that creates a fake loop, so it looks like it just blends in seamlessly with the rest of the edge. All right, now for the ends, just weave them in on the back side. And that's it. You can make your rug as big as you like. Mine's three feet across, and it took seven and a half pounds of roving. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel, like the video, and comment below with any future video ideas you have. Also, please head on over to expressionfiberarts.com because we have coupon codes we're giving away today, and I want you to get yours. And if you do make a giant rug, please post it on your favorite social network and share it with me so I can see, because I'd love to see it. All right, thanks so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.